Hey guys, so today um, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to properly slide slash glide your 808s in Ableton. Um, I've seen a lot of videos out there on YouTube um, teaching one method, and I don't really think this method is applicable to making your stuff sound on the level that it would sound from a producer that's using FL Studio. So what most people teach you to do is to slide your 808 into... Um, simpler and go to the controls turn the glide on and just play with that and make a MIDI track and they'll tell you to you know make um, a C3 here uh, duplicate it go up an octave and just slightly offset it um, now this is fine um, it will work in most situations, but I think for the New York um, and UK drill, you need to use a different method, which is the method I've come up with here. And I haven't seen many people using it, but I do think it is the only method you sh really should be using when you're making these drill tracks. And I'll, I'll show you why here in a second. So what you want to start off by doing is right clicking on your sampler and converting it into a sampler. Now, I know most people usually don't use the sampler. Um, it's very complex and it has all these options and it almost just is like overkill, kind of overwhelming you when you first open it. But trust me, it's going to be really simple uh, what I do here. And uh, to start off, you want to click on the MIDI tab in the sampler. And you want to change this pitch bend range to plus 24. So basically what this is doing is it's allowing your pitch bend wheel, which you usually have on a computer keyboard, sorry, not a computer keyboard, a MIDI controller keyboard, and you'll be able to, you know, bend the pitch bend wheel. It allows you to change the minimum and maximum pitch bend range that your uh, pitch wheel can do. But what you can, what you can actually do in Ableton is you can edit this automation and I know this is sounding overly complex now, but just trust me on this. So what you want to do is you want to open this little tab here, which shows the automation. You want to go to MIDI control and pitch bend. Now, this is just a little pattern I've come up with, which helps me really nail these drill 808s and to make them sound almost like I'm using FL Studio. So what I like to start off by doing is grabbing the pencil tool and just going max maximum pitch bend range. So that's plus 24 semitones, which is two octaves. And then I make another point and I make a little dip here and I get rid of this extra point. Here's how that, this sounds. Okay, so that is way too long here. So basically I'm just gonna go in here. All right, so it's taking a bit long to glide up here, and I'm just gonna drag this over. I'm gonna get rid of this. Too. So you hear that? That is what it will sound like most of the times in FL Studio when they're doing their pitch bends. And what you can do here is you can just, oh, I should have the grid on for this. What you can do here is you just copy and paste this. Yeah, so basically this is the method I like to use. This sounds the best to me. Now I'll make an actual, uh, I've made an, an actual pattern here that I would, that I'm going to show you in a beat. And um, this is what it looks like. So basically on this beat, I'm going to start off with, you know, I'm not making anything fancy here, just for tutorial purposes only. I'm going to just drag in a generic guitar trap loop. Go down here. I have my 808 pattern that I've made. Now on this pattern, I decided to change the pitch bend range to just leave it at normal because I didn't really want to go too crazy with it. Um, you can put it to usually 12, 24, and it'll, it'll sound good. You'll just have to uh, mess around with the notes a little bit. But um, here, here's how this sounds. So 
So as you can see there, it's sounding a little bit nicer. And I added some percussion here, some classic, you know, drill stuff. Got the stomps, you got the Dior clap thing. Um, kick. And the counter snare. And all together, it sounds like this. So there you have it guys, um, that's my method of doing trap, drill, slides in Ableton. Um, it's a little bit more complex than, you know, just doing the notes, but I find it's a lot more accurate and, you know, you can really get it sounding like FL Studio because um, they have their own tools that make it a lot easier to do these types of things. And um, hopefully Ableton comes out with slide notes or something like that to make it compete with uh, FL Studio on that on that note. But um. Yeah, there you have it guys just a quick little tutorial um hope some of you guys find this useful uh let me know how you how it goes thank you goodbye